So guys welcome back in another video of the Starbucks update. Today we are going to the recapping those all things that has happened since this the week has been started off. I am talking about the last week not this week because this is a Monday that I am on this date I am recording this video but I am going to recapping all these things that has happened throughout the Starbase and throughout the production side. The lots of things that is uh, incoming and upgrading for the Starship Flight 5 that we can take to the watch the Starship Flight 5 would be a successful in a later in the flight and we know exactly what's exactly happening so let's recap in those old things the first thing there has happened is the, the chopstick modifications so inside of the chopstick and the groundwork that the the spaces crew and technicians are doing there is completely worth it for to um, like improve the catching attempt of the starship like a booster tube in a starship flight file. So the modification over the chopstick is happening by adding the bumper pads. So those bumper pads is a usually designed to the observe the maximum the shock wave from the booster when it's had landed over the chopstick chopstick the landing rail. So after the uh, uh, successful landing, maybe those the bumpers pads will observe the maximum force that is exerted on the entire rail and will be distributed across it. So that will help to understand that how the booster will be a uh, slam over the uh, landing rails and that the land those landing rails will be observed the maximum of the stress that has been exerted by the uh, booster so it does and another in case it also helps you to understand and uh, like observe the maximum dynamics of the the stress the amount of the stress will be exerted on the vehicle like entire the carriage of the stop state after the uh, like booster landing because we we know exactly ex excitement it is guaranteed but success is not guaranteed at least this point because until we don't really attempt it to real in the real cases that we are going to do in a real case that we are going to attempt the landing by using the chopstick so if this uh, entire landing sequence uh, goes well or went well then possible there possible on the table that the chopstick will be a hand handover like I mean it will be handled the maximum stress of the booster that has been exerted since this booster have uh, descended over it and just uh, landed and it also protect the landing rails from the uh, plumes of the booster Raptor 2 uh, when they, they're descending down so this is the first thing that they are the installing there and according to the uh, current status that the pad installation has done by the Sunday and I can see there is a, not a lot of the work has been left over on the chopstick the rails that they can do uh, additionally so that they are just improving those the padding installed brackets and some kind of the fabrication to them so that's they are doing right now for the upgradation the lot of more for to un under like um, tolerate the maximum strain of the booster during the uh, landing sequence and uh, another thing that has happened that everybody will be happy to hear that because the block to starship is known as uh, the ship 33 has been a full stack in a megabit too and I'm glad to the saying this because the Starship Flight I um, mean the Starship Flight 5 and after the Starship Flight 6 even we are not closer to have the Starship Flight uh, by attempting like by authorized by the uh, like Starship Block 2 because uh, currently the Starship Block 2 is going to the many of the modification likely in the aft section because recently the aft section has been brought into uh, megabit 2 for the stacking up for the last time and we have uh, seen the booster like I mean the ship Starship 33 has been a full stack in a megabit 2 and everything that is uh, happening at the production side is a tremendous we know the block 2 has been a 
stack over and another thing is happening there is a nose cone building and construction and in a makeup i mean sorry in a star factory you know that the star factory is a fully uh, covered by the glasses or anything though so we can uh, sneak into the star factory by the outer so like by by the externally well welcome back i just want to share you the story that could inspire you to be alone and that could brings your happiness because my story was about to my relate to my the hobby or the interest and enthused because of i love the space exploration i love the depth of the universe that these are the all things are very meaningful for me and the one day when i was walking out and over the road i met to the guy who was asking me that what is your happiness is there your happiness your the girlfriend is your happiness your companion it's not actually because my happiness is not a girlfriend is not having a companionship is my happiness to explore the ideas of the space exploration see and watch the starship launch and development every day those are the all things that brings me out of the box and i love to watch a starship the more than i watch any other things and i gain the many of other information from it to enhance my knowledge and skills i love the starship I love the SpaceX. I love the any other space agencies and NASA who are bringing this dream into reality. And I, one day we will inhale the oxygen on the Mars. That's my promise. And I get more happy, and my dopamines uh, get a very high peak when I heard, when I have a heard. This sound. My name is Startup the Starship. <laughs>